Bro. Hi everyone, this is the foreign drawer here and today foreign draw drawer here and today I got a tutorial on how to draw eyes basically. Um and everyone basically struggles their first time. I've struggled so many times. I'm just gonna say this from now. For now. Like before you guys think, ooh, eyebrows, I need eyebrows. No. I can't draw eyebrows. Um Thanks to someone in um, my school makes fun of me because I can't draw eyebrows. I'm disappointed on myself. So I'm just going to show you guys how to draw an eye. So let's get to the video. Okay, so the like the basic, like the most important thing that everyone needs, needs to know and needs to get basically is paper you need to get paper I know I know it's hard to get <laughs> yeah everyone struggles especially me but yeah so you're gonna need paper and a pencil it does not really matter what type of pencil you have and um, yeah uh, today I'm gonna be using a lead pencil 0 0.7 I could use these honestly but you know, I, no, actually, I changed. I changed my mind. I'm gonna be using uh, a Prismacolor Scholar um, Scholar pencil to uh, be. Oh, not this one. Sorry, this one. As you can see, I've shown I've showed it before in my videos. Uh, well, you know which one it is. It's to be, and. I'll get to the mini details by the way on the video and um, for now I'm just gonna be focusing on the eye so the first thing you need to know or draw I guess is like how can I explain this is basically if you are huh, let me draw real quick and then I'll explain huh? let me get my eraser Okay, so this is the upper half of the upper half of the eye. I'm not done yet, don't worry. And so basically it's like, um, imagine you're drawing a boat, but like the lower half, like, you know how the boats are going like this? Imagine you're drawing that, you know how the boat has like, it's barely curved on, on the very back, and it's like more curved on the front, like this. So yeah, basically like that, and for the lower half, I'll show again right now. Okay, so I'm back, and for this one, it's a bit more complicated to explain, but as you can see, I'm just <clears throat> trying to, um, just, you know, make, uh, like, like, I'm not really making any corners, I'm just trying to make it as oval as possible from the lower half like this so I'm not really trying to make any edges here it's just basically an oval from the lower half not like an oval like this basically as round as you can from the lower half so now we gotta focus on the pupil as well and the you know the rest and the details after the word and yeah so, don't worry, if you guys can't see, I'm going to be <clears throat> uh, highlighting it with this one. It, it makes it darker. It's 6B um, for sketching, basically. So, what I like to do is make an oval. But many people like going like this, like not, not non-stopping. Uh, what I like doing is this. I actually end up stopping... And going all the way back like this so as you can see I don't touch the bottom at all um, and 
yeah that's this and of course uh this the little circle what i like to do is this but right here you have to stop and make this round shape or not shape well make basically make a circle a circle but like don't make a like a this is not it's basically a square not a perfect square like with sharp edges uh like it's, you know what i mean like sort of circleish and squarish type of shape and before you finish it off right here in this corner in the top right corner you have to do a circle like i just did right here and we're not done there yet we have to do this too oh sorry you guys can see this now this is more of a oval well it really depends on what shape you do like right here I don't, it's a little too small for the huge eye I have so it's okay guys you can always erase it shows I don't know improvements I guess so as you can see I'm making it a bit bigger you can't really tell much of a difference but you will see so then afterwards I always um, color I mean darken it in, in the inside of the people and leave this and this um, like straight up link it will get dirty in a point of in the point of the a video on of the video but we you can erase those bits afterwards all right this is not the point of the video I'm talking about so after this happens you can do this so what I like doing is basically <clears throat> drawing a lot of spikes I don't know why just it, it looks better than just adding those little boom 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 you know like uh hold on let me I'm sorry I ripped it off of paper so basically what I meant is and what I meant was it's better than writing these lines all the time because I mean I've done it before I'm just not good at it and right here you see uh I guess a slight more you know more much of a change compared to those spikes and if you want to you could, below here you could add a bit more if you have space if I were you I would actually leave a little bit more space it makes it a bit more smoother <clears throat> so I'm done uh, I, oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to say this. You know how I said I don't like doing these spikes? Well, I forgot to mention I'm going to be doing those spikes, but not like around the whole thing. Well, yeah, actually around the whole thing, honestly. But um, with these included, it looks a lot better. So what I like to do is do a pattern. You can make your own pattern if you want, honestly. It's up to you. Right now they might they might look like horrible to you guys. But right now when this one little step I'm gonna make makes it look a lot better. So right here I'm done with the spikes. Um as you can see it looks horrible, but don't worry. One little thing will change this whole thing. I know I'm always like, oh, this looks horrible, but don't worry. And now I'll change it. And what you're gonna be needing is a piece of paper. Doesn't really matter which type. Um, and what I like to do is basically shading. And it's actually a lot better than your finger. Well, I think it's a lot better than your finger. You don't get your fingers dirty and. I guess it's better. Right now you might be saying what what happens to the tip, but you see why I don't like the tip. So 
sorry I'm back. Um, I had to get another piece of paper. Mine ripped, unfortunately. And I just realized it's a lot better when you cut your paper a bit more over half. And I just realized as well, try your best to make this, to fold this as small as possible. It's a lot better. And there, as you can see right here, I, the end of this, not the sharp end, the other end, I have folded it, and that's what's going to be the blending part. You see why? I have this right here, right? And then I just do this with your thumb. You have to put your thumb right here, and do this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually shading. That's why it's gonna scratch your paper, but you can tell unless it's like on pure, like, slight like mine, but I don't think you could tell. And right now, let me get to the other half. As you can see right here, um, I have done this half, and I've shaded I've shaded it in with um the paper of course you can see the little shade marks and it'll pretty much end up like this and I'll get back to you as soon as I finish this side so guys this is my eye uh, I hope you like this video um I basically or I did an eyebrow I know it sucks it sucks even more because I I under I outlined it even though I shouldn't have. And as you can see, I already I outlined it. I did the other half. I did this half. I shaded it, everything in, basically. I'll give you a better look. And yeah, that's my tutorial on how to draw an eye. Hope this helped you guys. Remember at these spikes, to make it look a bit better. I think it's a bit better. Right there. And remember, these are gonna look awful at the start, but um, as soon as you shade them, you could hardly tell, and then they just concentrate more on the, what's it called? How good it's, it's blended and everything. So basically, you fool them. <laughs> and yeah, subscribe for more content. You're in videos, of course. Uh, leave a like, and today's um, shout out is on the screen, and their channels will be left down below in the link. Go check them out. And yeah, leave a like, leave a comment what I should be drawing next, or a tutorial. I don't care, just do something. And yeah, see you all later. Bye.